Hey, Jake Roy back here, 90s Ball Cards. So I have a really exciting product that I'm excited to open. I know that some of you uh, know about this from when I teased it a while back. So I know you're really excited to see this too. So that's what we have in store uh, today on 90s Ball Cards. Alright, so today we have 9798Z4 Series 1 with three packs of this. So there are some great parallels that we can pull in here, some awesome inserts. Uh, so it's a really exciting product from this year. It, uh, it wasn't really a premium product when it came out, but over the years it's been something that a lot of fans have really enjoyed. Not for the base set cards, really for the inserts and the parallels. So uh, let's jump in to see what we can pull. All right, so here we've got some PC items of some of the fire we could pull in these packs. So starting here with the most common cards that we could get, we've got the Boss. So these are one in six packs. And these are, you know, kind of got a, a wood pattern, but it's all embossed, which is pretty cool to, to see. So we've got a Penny here, and then everybody's favorite, we've got a Jordan, of course. So, you know, fun cards, again, not the most rare cards um, and not the most valuable cards, but definitely cool looking. And then, a step up from that, we've got Super Boss. So we can kind of look at these side by side. The Super Boss are one in 36, so six times more rare. But you've got a foil finish on it. The hardwood looks kind of golden. Uh, so these are definitely a lot better looking, in my opinion. Um, still embossed, and they say Super right here. So, you, you know, you can be sure to know if you've never seen one of these when you've pulled it out of a pack uh, and you get one, you know this is Super Boss, so it's a little bit different. Really cool. Nothing different on the back. All the same stuff there, but you do have the SB as opposed to the B for the numbering. So another way to indicate you have a Super Boss. Next step up, it's actually more common than the Super Boss, but uh, this is the Fast Track at 1 in 24. So kind of a fun thing and, uh, you know, not a ton of great players. The Kobe's in this, so he's definitely a, a star that you want to get, but not a lot of star power other than that. But the neat thing with these, if I slide this out, I know you're not gonna be able to touch it, but maybe you can see the texture on where it says fast track and then down at the bottom. It's like a fuzzy type of texture. I don't know what kind of material you'd call it, but it's definitely got some texture there that's kind of neat. Uh, maybe you can kind of see there's gloss on the rest of the card and none on there. So a neat thing that they did there, um, but not a ton of value either. And moving on to the total impact. So these are one in 48. And I have to be honest, I think this is kind of a lame design. Um, you know, we've got some hollow foil, but it's just, it, it doesn't really bring a whole lot of uh, eye appeal to me. You know, one that I wanted to get in my KG collection over the years, but again, yeah, it's just not a terribly valuable set, not the best looking in the world to me, but maybe you like it. Uh, you know, one in 48, it's, it's relatively rare, hard to pull from a pack, but um, you know, not, not bringing a lot of thunder in terms of value. And then for, uh, you know, really the best insert that you can get here are the Rave Reviews. So these are gorgeous cards. You can see the reflective finish on there. So these are one in 288. So these are basically a case hit. Uh, you know, these are really what you're looking to get. You know, we talked a lot about those other inserts not having a ton of value. These definitely do. You know, if you're looking at getting a Jordan, if we pull one of those, that's probably close to a thousand dollar card depending on condition. Um, the penny here, this is, you know, 50, 60, $70 card again, depending on condition. Uh, but really cool looking. There's a lot of stars. You know, this this was the cream of the crop that we could pull for inserts. So a great set here. Love to see one of those. And then for the parallels, so this is a rave. So the raves are numbered to 399. And you'll be able to see when we open the packs if we get one. This is normally not got any sort of the the texture that you, that you see here uh, on the hollow foil. So that's how you can tell. But also. Again, it's numbered. So right on the back here, you'll see it's numbered 399. It says rave down there. So that's how you know you've got a rave for sure. And the super rave have a different texture here that looks kind of like a ruby from 9899. Um, and those are numbered to 50. So I don't have one to show you guys. Those are ridiculously rare, very valuable. You know, if you if you pull a common player of a super rave, it's probably a $50 card, you know, just for a common player, you know, Chris Gatling or, or whoever you can think of. Um, you know, so these are valuable cards. Obviously, if we pull a Jordan, if we pull a Penny, if we pull a Kobe, you know, one of those stars, um, you know, either a Rave or a Super Rave, they demand quite a bit of money. 
So uh, we'd love to see one of those get pulled out of this pack. And then in all Skybox products, as you know, we can get an autographics. So this is the design from 97, 98. So this is one in 120 packs in this Z-Force product. So we've got a Brian Grant auto here. We've got the embossed for the authentication. Um, you know, so just a classic autograph on card. Uh, so it'd be nice to see one of those as well. So let's bust in and hope we get some fire. All right, we have three packs, eight cards per pack. Let's bust in. All right, we got a Marcus Camby, John Stockton, Dikembe Matumbo, Terry Mills, Chris Weber, Detlef Shrimp, a little surface issue there. So our uh, Vita Sabonis and Rick Smiths. No fire yet. All right, my boy Ronnie Cycli from the Magic. Alan Houston, Scotty Pippen, nice. Malik Seeley, Tom Gugliata, Chris Mullen, Nick Van Axel, John Wallace. All right, so far all base. Let's hope for some fire here. Jeff Hornacek, Samaki Walker, Percy Hawkins, Anthony Mason, Jamal Mashburn, Sean Kemp, Avery Johnson, and the last card is Clarence Weatherspoon. All right, so you guys saw there are just all base cards, so you know we didn't beat the odds this time, but can't do that every time for sure. Um, you know, kind of a fun design. So I know recently we did the 96, 97. I talked about not really like, caring for that design. This also was a pretty busy 90s theme uh, type of modern, cool looking set. Uh, I definitely like these better than the 96, 97, um, but you know, still pretty busy and, uh, and something that definitely younger collectors gravitated towards back then. But now with the inserts, you've got a lot of people who are looking for the, the sweet rave reviews and, and obviously the rave and, and especially super rave. So I talked about some of the insert sets really not bringing the fire in my opinion, uh, you know, really highlighting the, the total impact here, which is just one that doesn't captivate my interest and doesn't generate a ton of value. But question of the day for you is what's an insert set that you think may be overrated? Um, you know, I don't think that this necessarily qualifies for an overrated set because it's not terribly valuable, but um, you know, just one that I don't think is terribly appealing. So maybe you can drop something, an insert set that you think is valuable, but doesn't look great, or just something that you think is overrated for an insert set. So drop that down in the comments below uh, and let me know what you think of this break that we had today. So as always, thanks for watching these videos and spending some time to share this great hobby. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New pack openings drop on Wednesdays, and then any bonus videos will be on Fridays. Thanks.